Welcome back to the deep blue, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are back out in Dave the Diver, and I'm actually really excited for this episode because if you missed the last episode, we reached the end of the current stage of the game, but there is so many other side things you can do in this game uh, that I really wanted to do those as well. I actually checked my uh, phone, and I've only killed... What the hell is that noise? I've, I've only killed two out of the four bosses that are, that are currently in the game. So we had to find the whirlpool. Well, that works out. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many freaking predators late at night. Look at this, this is actually be great. We're gonna take those. Uh, I don't have anything to kill this guy. So I think I'm just gonna go into the whirlpool. Unless this guy's gonna attack me. He probably is, yes. Okay, can I just go in here? Yes. Yes, let's go in with a net gun. This will be safe. So this is one of the two things I wanted to do. I think this might be a boss. I don't remember really what the whirlpool was about, if I'm honest. But yeah, stormy night. We had to find the whirlpool. Uh, and then we also need to find the underwater lake by the sea people. So why not start off with a boss fight? At least I'm assuming that's what this is. Uh, maybe these things got caught in the storm and disappeared. All right, we got... What the hell? Why is there a truck down here? All right, so the big truck move. Great. So why, why do I have a net gun? I shouldn't have grabbed that. Uh, I, I, I guess I'm going to do a boss fight with a harpoon of all things. Great. We might have to come back and try this again, but let's see how we can do with a simple uh, harpoon. Okay, it's a giant crab. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this with a harpoon. This is Is he using a dump truck as a shell? Truck Hermit Crab. Oh my god, this game. I don't think a gun will do anything. What do I do? Oh, perfect. It's like I knew. All right, so it wasn't bad. We got, we got the net gun. Now, any crab in this game, I had to drop giant rocks on. So I think we have to kind of do that again. Let's go up and see what we can find. Okay, so he follows me. Um, So I do have the gloves that I can pull out. Okay, so he throws things. He's also dropping things from the roof due to the shaking. I wonder if those can drop on him. Let's try and bring him over to this and see if those will damage him. They're not too big, though, so I don't- I doubt it. <laughs> this is such an interesting fight. I actually can't use my weapons. All right, and do they drop again? Yeah, so I'm thinking... Does the rubble damage him? I don't know if he got damaged there or not. Okay, what? Easy, buddy. All right, get a little bit closer. Do your little angry ground stomp. Oh, Jesus. There we go, and then those things fall. That's doing nothing to him. Okay, there's, there has to be a bomb in here or something. Sir, can you let me get the air, please? I think it's, like, right underneath him. Oh, great. That was a good hit. Uh, this is probably going to be a death. Good. Okay, go down. It should be right here somewhere. Yes. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Give me that. Give me the freaking air. Ah. Uh, ooh. But we learned something. So, it looks like he spawns barrels at the bottom. So I was thinking it was falling rubble because that's how you kill all the other crabs, but I think he uproots dangerous uh, barrels. Okay, so yeah, here's the barrels. So he should come over now. Please come over. Oh God, oh, ow. Oh, they vanished though. What the hell? Uh, maybe I got to get lucky and get them closer to him. Oh, I don't got much room left. Come on, buddy, just stomp. Yes, barrels, please. And shoot. Oh, maybe I gotta hit, gotta get him to stomp on them. There we go, there we go. I think he did it. Something new is happening. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Oh God, okay, don't like that. That's a whole new mechanic. I don't know how to get the barrels to explode now. Oh, oh, I can grab the barrels. Oh, I am not the brightest. I forgot I can grab in this game. All right, I think I figured it out finally. Bombs away. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I feel like a badass now. Oh, this is going to kill me again, isn't it? Please, sir, please. Yeah, you know what? This ain't going to work. Okay, I'm now stuck in here. Great. Well, you're going down with me. Okay, there goes his wheel. So I think it's probably a couple more hits. Now that I know right away, I think I can be... I can definitely do this. Uh, I just got to figure out how to get the freaking oxygen. Let's try again here. Maybe we can do this with, like, no air. And... There we go. Come on. I'm not out yet, damn it. Don't hit me, please don't hit me. I'm gonna lose all my oxygen. And drop it. One second left. Please tell me I got it. I think that's just his shell. Did I get it? <laughs> With one second of oxygen. Uh, wait, I didn't get it. Okay, maybe I can get my oxygen now though. That would be great. 
That thing was really nothing without the shell. Okay, so it did run away. I hope the bo bo the boss card Sato was talking about has been activated. So was that one phase of the fight? It looks like we got a pincer as well. Of course we should pick that up, assuming I can make it down there. Okay, so it looks like it reset my oxygen, thankfully. Well, that was as close as you can get it. One second of oxygen left. Uh, thank God I have that um, trinket or whatever that slows my oxygen when I'm low. I would not have survived if, if it wasn't for that. All right, well, what a way to start an episode. We killed one of the hardest bosses yet. That was probably the hardest one. It just took me a while to figure out the mechanics. It actually wasn't too bad after that. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to see the sea people one uh, with the waterfall deep down below. Right now, though, uh, we should probably go earn some money selling some sushi. But before that, we may as well you utilize this night swim and see if we can get any decent food all right i killed a shark i am pretty much out of air so we'll just head up uh i just wanted to focus mostly on getting scrap metal today because one thing i haven't done is worked with duff much i'd like to try and upgrade my guns uh to see if that unlocks anything as well i did find a super rare boss card sato the sea was unrelenting with all those terrifying sea creatures that was serious stuff uh, no big deal compared to the awesome super rare boss car, but I went through all that. Now tap share car with friends like this. All right, there we go. Keep it up. Good work. You can share the cards or was that just a little bit of an update? All right, so let's go see. There is uh, a new thing here. I don't think you can share them, but yeah, as you can see, these are the boss cards I was talking about. There's still one more boss. Uh, looks to be some sort of creepy shark. So I'm hoping we can do that today. Uh, I don't think the other ones... Oh, there is boss cards. I forgot about the giant squid. There is boss cards on every level. And then for whatever reason, there's just a whole seahorse tab. Uh, we still have a lot of seahorses to collect. Well, I think we're going to need to hire some more people here soon. As you can see, even with two servers, uh, we're not really keeping up. This is going to be a really good day, that's for sure. All right, so that was only two-thirds of a day because I did do night fishing. Let's see how we did, though. Almost to the next rank. That wasn't too bad. 404. Okay, could have been better, but still not an awful day either. So, yeah, I think I really want to hire... I don't know if I need, want a new cook or more servers, though. That's the thing. Should call it a day? Well, that's what we're doing. It's a long row becoming a great master. What the hell? I've never had this. Is this my gun guy? Oh, it has to be my gun guy, obvious. <laughs> what the hell did I just stumble upon? Oh my god. These cutscenes, I've never seen a game with cutscenes as amazing as this one. <laughs> why am I watching this? <laughs> oh god, why did I watch him go to sleep? What is going on? I'm so confused. Why did this happen now? Is he dreaming? Oh god, it's his waifu. He's dreaming about his waifu. <laughs> Did I unlock something or was that just a random cutscene? A live stage begins in Duff's dream. What the hell? So I'm playing DDR in Duff's dreams now. Great. Uh, use your mouse to move your hand up and down and hit the green note. When an orange note appears, shake left and right for a loud applause. Okay, I'm gonna suck at this. Any sort of rhythm games I absolutely suck at, but okay. <laughs> I didn't expect this today. Okay, so I control it like that. Uh, I, is high left or right? Am I doing it wrong? I think I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Duff. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm not very good at this. And it's shake time. Yay! Give me all that score. Give me all that score. I'm going to clear it. Come on. Just let me clear it. Please let me clear it. Please! I didn't clear it. Did, did I clear it? Duff, I'm sorry. I was very confused at the start, buddy. Can I play that again? That was really... Oh, yes. I would love to replay. Well, Duff, I didn't do great, buddy. But we cleared it. I hope your dream has become a reality. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how good that was for a rhythm game. Like, you had to manage two things at once. <laughs> Duff might be my favorite character in a game ever. Well, I, I hope you had a good dream, buddy. Oh, my... Ew. Ew. <laughs> ew. A new mobile game called Lee's Run is now available. 
You can play the game from your phone in Game Factory. Great. Is it that game? I'm assuming. No idea why that happened today of all days. I've played a lot of this game, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. All right, so goal today is to find the underwater lake. We also need Titan Triggerfish because I accidentally sold those today. I forgot I have a portal to the sea people, so we may as well just head right down there. And uh, the underwater lake should be right around here since they mentioned it. All right, I'm at the game parlor at the sea people sanctuary. And uh, I was giving the seahorse quest to this lady and she said I could get a seahorse. I am a human. I'm Yami in charge of the seahorse race course. Can I can I race seahorses now? This is no longer a diving game. I'm playing a bunch of mini games. All right, I'm going to get a nice strong seahorse. Yay. Do I actually race them or can I just eat them? Talk to Yami at the game parlor. I just was, I was just doing it. Oh my god, we can't actually race these guys. This is this game. There's so many games in this game it's insane. All right, so we can register. <laughs> can we bet? Can I turn this into a gambling game? All right, so I got Jack Har's seahorse. Uh, he said he was going to give me a good one. These stats don't look so good, but cool. We're going to do that. Um, select the race menu and get ready to race. All right. Well, it's time to race, I guess. All right. He's suggesting course C since I'm a newbie at horse racing. Do I actually have to race? I thought we were just watching the race, but I think we actually have to race. <laughs> this is insane. Every time I play this game, I'm more and more blown away. Okay, so we got our seahorse. Yes, I understand. Grab the seahorse. And control for ready. I hope I figured this out. Or do I just watch? Okay, so cheer to increase the seahorse's speed. If your gauge is past the green, you slow down, so be careful. So there's like a, a timing thing. There are different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. Oh my god, you can have hurdles with seahorses. Okay, well, here we go. First try. First time seahorse racing. We're going to cheer the hell out of this guy. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yep. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Keep it straight. I wonder if we can, like, train these guys. <laughs> Get, like, the greatest seahorse ever. All right. I think I figured out the timing. I th it's going to be close, actually. Jump. Slide. Okay, so there is good jumping. I don't think we have to worry about that right now. This, this is obviously just a straight race. I think I came second. I mean, not bad for my first run. Thank you, Yami. Do, do I get anything for doing this? It is fun. I, I will give the game that. But what is the point? <laughs> What's the point of half of this game? Let's be honest. All right. Well, that was interesting, but definitely not the reason I'm here. Can you let me leave? I, I just want to leave. Oh, the door's over here. Okay. <laughs> Dude. I love how I just stumbled upon that. There's so many things you can just stumble upon in this game. All right, I can also get a seaweed farm here, so uh, I wanted to start that. He, he he wants a dish with seaweed in it before he'll help me, though, because he doesn't really trust humans. So not something I'm really interested in, but obviously getting seaweed's a really good thing because those are for the more expensive meals. All right, so that's it for the sea people. I'm now in deep waters. I need to go find Maro the kid. Um, I just need to follow the signs. I kind of forget where exactly those were, but... We should be able to find them somewhere around here. Well, I found the sign. Uh, and obviously it leads in the right direction. You said Maro hasn't returned, right? Maybe I'll follow the sign. Okay, well, we'll worry about that. We also got a lot, a lot of other things going on. Like this, I don't, did we fight this guy before? Uh, I've taken a bit of a break from this game, so I forget what we fought. I don't think this guy should be too bad. And then he sound, he looks like he'll be very expensive. So there we go. What the hell is this? Is this a shark? Renat, I can't, oh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Uh, I don't know if I killed that guy or not. Rank nine though. Glad I fought it. Very easy to kill. I think I also need crabs for something. So I'm going to obviously kill these guys as well. Crabs are always worth a lot of money anyways. All right. And let's continue following. It looks like we just got to go far right here. To find this place. Oh, there it is. Uh, this is the door. The crumble box looks to be blo blocking the way. Looks like we need a pickaxe. Let's look around. Okay. What is that? A jellyfish fragment? Okay, so I was doing another quest looking for jellyfish. I think this is obviously leading to where I need to go. I may as well go this way since I'm still looking for the pickaxe. There we go. I found my pickaxe. Oh, thank God. Oxygen. And this must be the seaweed collector's house. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that now that we're here, we'll do this quest as well. Uh, and I have oxygen to go back and go uh, find that child as well. 
Oh, no. Not another boss fight. We have a sea turtle that was eating all the jellyfish. Jonah might have eaten something weird. She's going crazy. She's been gobbling up the jellyfish. Something's wrong with her. Please help. Great. Um, I'll have to catch her and try calming her down. How the frick do I catch a giant freaking sea turtle? Okay. Never a dull moment in this game, man. All right, please don't eat me. Please. Okay, I think I can... Come here. I can, I can, I can, I can grab it. Come here. You, you freaking relax. Oh, God. It's going to be so hard. I'm tired out. All right, come on. This has got to be it. You're tired now. Yep, there we go. Chill the hell out. Ah, oh, there we go. He was, he, I think he was just a bit sick. Thanks to a bag. Thank you, human. Now I'll be able to gather seaweed with Don again. So that must mean I can now farm seaweed. Okay, I got the pickaxe. Hopefully that's all I need. Let's mine this thing. And there we go. Let's go save a child. All right, welcome to the underwater lake. This isn't horrifying looking. Great. So there's oxygen. Good to know. Oh, there's the actual lake. Okay, it's actually kind of pretty in here. Creepy pretty. This must be the underwater lake. To see a lake under the sea is really amazing. Maybe I should take a photo. All right, we'll focus down here. And beautiful. Or, or not. And beautiful. Success! Oh, uh, I knew something bad was going to happen. What was that sound? Indeed. Okay, we got a new gun. Good. Let's grab that before bad things happen. Where is the child? That is not a new gun. That's an upgrade. Okay, well, it reset my bullets, so that's fantastic. I also got bullets here. Oh, when there's bullets, it's a bad sign. That means it's going to be a boss fight. And there's the little child. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'm here to help. Okay, great. I mean, I fought bigger creatures in this game. Goblin shark. Okay. Well, we have guns this time. And guns should come in handy. Boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this just like a generic shark fight? Except he's much bigger? Okay, I don't like his chomps. Ow! Okay. Not a generic shark fight. I got destroyed in seconds. Let's try that again. Okay, so I did see that his nose is a weak point. Oh my god, how do I avoid this? Also, I'm gonna have to take time to gather oxygen. Okay, so he's got a charge. That's probably when I'm gonna have to do this. Nice shot. I am great right now. I just, I don't understand how you're supposed to avoid this. I am doing much better now. Okay, there we go. Ah. Oh. Well, it took me like five deaths and I was doing double the damage that, that I was at the start. So I feel a little lame about that. But I honestly, he's so fast. I don't know how you avoid that. But here you go, child. I barely defeated it. Literally, I died like five times. <laughs> Why are you in such a dangerous place? I wanted to see the underwater lake. I don't blame you. Let's get back to the village. I am the freaking hero here. I just saved a child. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? <laughs> totally beautiful down there. You should go. Thank you for saving me. I won't leave the village now. All right. I don't believe you, but uh, I'm glad to help because I got a goblin shark nasal bone. And that's all I've ever wanted in my life. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode here. We fought two bosses today. We had the weirdest dream ever. We did some seahorse racing. I mean, it's never a dull moment in this game. Now, this game still is surprisingly in early access, so uh, we're kind of nearing the end. There's probably a bunch of small things we can do, so I might do one or two more episodes. But yeah, I will definitely be doing more when the game does get the next update. I've been talking to the developer a, a little bit about it, and I'm super excited to see what the future of this game holds because it's already easily one of my favorite games of 2022. And yeah, I think it's only going to get better. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.